Now, meteorologist Zach Gonzalez is live from her home with more on this really nasty weather. Lisette. Yes, it has been a very wet start to the weekend, and we're still seeing the clouds and some of the raindrops on our Broward camera lens right now. But look at Key West enjoying tons of sunshine, and you do deserve it because yesterday you all got slammed with some really strong storms really across most of the Keys. But we are dealing with this low pressure system. You can see the swirl on the radar, as Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer explained earlier, and all the moisture associated with this disturbance that we've been monitoring in the tropics is leading to very soggy conditions out there, although not as widespread as earlier this morning. A lot of the rain has been persistent and moving over the same areas, and we call that training. So flood advisory continues through 1.30 p.m. for parts of southeast Broward County, including places like Fort Lauderdale, Oakland Park, and Wilton Manors. But we are mainly seeing the rain now in Pompano Beach, Tamarack, Sunrise, and Weston. Also seeing that flood advisory continues until 1.45 p.m. for northeast Miami-Dade County, including areas like Hialeah, Miami, Pembroke Pines, Opelika, where the heaviest rainfall has taken place. Currently, we're seeing the rain in Aventura, North Miami, Hard Rock Stadium, and Miami Lakes, even through parts of Doral. It's not raining outside my house here in the West Miami area near Kendall, so it's been really quiet actually most of the day. We're seeing some showers south of Homestead, and we're seeing some showers across the Middle Keys. But take a look at these impressive rainfall totals. We needed the rain. We just got a lot of it all at once, so that was the problem. Four inches in Opelika, over three inches in Oakland Park, two inches in Pompano Beach and Fort Lauderdale, and about an inch and a third in Miami and about a half of an inch in Homestead. You see the further south we go, the less rain in comparison to Broward, which really got the bulk of the activity. But it is officially rainy season. It's here and Mother Nature making that very well known. It is going to last through October 15th, and we typically see about 70 percent of our annual rainfall. Certainly got a lot of rain today, which will help hopefully with our drought. Wind out of the northeast 9 to 12. The other thing is we've been dealing with gusty winds about 20 to 25 miles an hour earlier. Wind advisory continuing through this evening because, as Craig mentioned, we could see some more showers and storms that could produce some gusty winds later today and through tonight. Temperatures right now, it is feeling comfortable because of the rain and the cloud coverage. Mid to upper 70s in Broward and Dade County, 83 in Key West where there's a lot more sunshine. But really today, our high struggle to reach 80 degrees with these windy storms and downpours. Not a day to be boating, gale warning and small craft advisory rough on the bays. Tonight still unsettled with breezy showers, some storms and the low 70s. And this area of low pressure, the Hurricane Center continues to closely watch has a high potential of becoming a subtropical depression or a subtropical storm as it moves northeast towards the Bahamas and eventually away from Florida. So the weekend is not a washout, but today we are certainly seeing the possibility of heavy rain and more localized flooding in spots as some areas could see more than four inches as we already seen in spots. So as we head into tomorrow, the rain chance will go down a bit. Some scattered storms, upper 80s. Sunday's looking better, drier but hotter with a low 90s and a summery weather pattern setting up as we head into early next week.